गुड आफ्टरनून एवरी वन अपने प्लैनर फाइव डी सी मोबाइल मध्य लैपटॉप मध्य इंस्टॉल कर संगते कारण क्वीज वीडियोज बे आज फर्स्ट लेक्चर लाइरेक्ट अपन स्टार्ट के प्लैनर फाइव डी मधा वीडियो कस अपन रन कर वॉल थिकनेस का जे एक पांच पांच मिनटा वीडियो पे वीडियो कम्प्लीट कोर्स है तो एक्चुअली एक थर्टी मिनिट ऐसी क्वीज सॉल्व कराए सग प्लैनर फाइव डी मोबाइल मध्य इंस्टॉल करा कि लैपटॉप मध्य सर्च करा प्लैनर जी कोड है ती तुम चैट बॉक्स मध्य मी से करते आता लास्ट लेक्चर लाइन नहीं है फिर बी डिविजन लाइन है सग प्लैनर फाइव डी ओपन करा गुगल मध्य ऐप मध्य जैसे के लिए ठीक है जैसे नहीं के लिए कारण क्वीज अपने सोल्व कराए क्वीज नर्टिफिकेट पे सगना सो आधी पूर्ण वीडियो बगित बगित क्वीज देना संगेन प्लैनर फाइव डी ओपन करा सर्च करा प्लैनर फाइव डी कोड ऐसी वे मैं चैट बॉक्स मध्य टाकेन जे है कोड देना तुम्हारा प्लैनर फाइव डी क्लिक करा वेबसाइट मिनिमाइज कर सर्च करा तुम्हारे गुगल वर जाऊ कारण सग क्वीज कंपलसरी सोडवा कारण की आहे तो प्रोडक्ट की कोड आहे तो स्टूडेंट ऐसी तुम्हारा सेंड करते मैं है मज चालूच है का मगे चालू ही तुम्हारा लॉग आउट कर जान अकाउंट काड़ल न से प्लीज सग मोबाइल कि लैपटॉप वर का डायरेक्ट जावा साइन अप करा तुम्हारा थैंक यू कि मेल वगैरह मेसेज ये कोड पाठेन तुम्हें कोड टाका इतना तुम ईमेल आई डी पर्सनल ईमेल पर्सनल तुम जो अल जीमेल वाला टाका नहीं एक्सेप्ट होते फॉलेज का सीओई पी सीओई का टाका सगने अकाउंट ओपन कराए मैं कि जन कारण बी डिविजन के बारे पैकी सी के प्लैनर फाइव डी मना टाका इतने ओपन बैरेक्ट दो तुम्हारा राइट साइड टॉप लाव आल ओपन करा नाव पूजा लच्चन मधे सगे अकाउंट एक्टिविटी अम ओपन होते राइट क्लिक ओपन किड विचारे कारण तुम्हारे जेव प्लैन वगैरह का लॉक मध्य जेव कोड न से सग लॉक मध्य जेव कोड टाका जेव प्लैन वगैरह का लॉक ओपन होक्सिंग थोड़क प्रोमो कोड मन तिथे कोड टाका मैं चैट बॉक्स मध्य करेन कोड टाके तो संगते तुम्हारा टी कैपिटल एल चैट बॉक्स मध्य शेयर करते तुम्हारा सग ओपन करा जाना का प्रॉब्लम विचारू शकता तुम्हारे क्लास मध्य बी का अकाउंट ओपन तुम पर्सनल ईमेल आई डी पासवर्ड का ईमेल आई डी तो टाका डायरेक्ट अस ओपन होते इतने राइट क्लिक है राइट साइड लोड है विचार मी हेजा चैट बॉक्स मध्य कैपिटल टी एल डैश स्मॉल एफ कैपिटल एच प्रोमो कोड संगता है तुम्हारा टी एफ एच सॉरी कैपिटल टी एल डैश कैपिटल टी स्मॉल एफ कैपिटल एच स्मॉल ई मैं चैट बॉक्स मध्य टाइप करते एक मिनट कैपिटल टी स्मॉल एफ कैपिटल एच स्मॉल ई ए कैपिटल एच स्मॉल ई सेंड के बैट बॉक्स मध्य 
कैपिटल टी एल डैश कैपिटल टी एफ एच ई ए कैपिटल एच ई एच स्मॉल ई हा क्रोमो प्रोमो कोड टाका तुम्हार मोबाइल मध्य जेव मी वीडियो जो ओपन करेन क्वीज वीडियो बगित कि आज आप वीडियो बगना है सगले थर्टी थर्टी फाइव मिनिट के वीडियो है सगले इंट्रोडक्शन पास पूर्ण प्लैन काड़ोपर्यंत सक्सेस कोर्स तिथे दाखते एटी एट पर्सेंट नाइनटी पर्सेंट तुम कोर्स टेन पर्सेंट मे क्वीज मैं तुम्हारा संगेन एक पांच मिनिट अपन थाम सगल की मैं संगा पुढ़ स्टार्ट करू को जे मेन लेक्चर लगे मेन लेक्चर लीडियो दाखे होते न्वीज न्लैन अपन डायरेक्ट प्लैन स्टार्ट के चार्ट बॉक्स मध्य कोड टाकले कोड यूज करा अकाउंट ओपन का सगैंक दिस्त तुम्हारा मला मैं इतने एजुकेशन मजा इत पर्सनल हे दिते कि जन का ए डिविजन चे ए डिविजन चे चार जन आता बी चे सी सिक्सटी नाइन आउट ऑफ फिफ्टी हाँ फिफ्टी पर्यत चाल तुम्हाला मेसेज मेल सक्सेसफुल अकाउंट ते प्रोमो कोड टाका मी चैट बॉक्स मध्य टाकले नंतर ओपन की सांगा मला कैपिटल टी एल डैश कैपिटल टी स्मॉल एफ कैपिटल एच स्मॉल ई ए कैपिटल एच स्मॉल ई हा प्रोमो कोड है तुम्हारा मेल कु पर्सनल मेल वर न ओपन करू ना कॉलेज का सीओ ईपी वाला ओपन करा अपने मेन डिजाइन स्कूल बे वर प्लैनर फाइव डी ऐसी इत रो मध्य मै प्रोजेक्ट गेट आइडियाज अपलोड प्लैन अपन फर्स्ट लेक्चर लगित ना डिजाइन स्कूल डिजाइन बैटल डिजाइन स्कूल इतपन है इतपन है तो है डायरेक्ट ओपन के लिए डिजाइन स्कूल मध्य तो तुम नाव वर आता मज न विचारता इंडिया वगैरह मेम्बर्स सीन्स टू ट्वेंटी वन कभी अकाउंट एक्टिविटी लाइक्स नोटिफिकेशन ही डिजाइन स्कूल इतने फिफ्थ नंबर लिजाइन स्कूल स्कूल वर एक क्लिक करा इंटेरियर डिजाइन का जोनिंग का एक एक संगेन मैं इंटेरियर डिजाइन अपने पेक्षा जोनिंग फर्स्ट बगू अपन इतने लेफ्ट साइड लिस्त है कोर्स एक्चुअली 
हे बघा डायरेक्ट क्विज असत आहे लास्टला तुमचे सिक्स्टीन कोर्स आहेत म्हणजे चार दोन तीन मिनिटाला आहे बघा तीन तीन दोन दोन मिनिटाला कोर्स आहे ते हे कोर्स कम्प्लीट झाले ऑटोमॅटिक हे चालू होतात हे पूर्ण कम्प्लीट बघा हे कोर्स म्हणजे जसं तुम्हाला प्लॅन वगैरे काढायचं ते एक डेमो दिलाय तुम्हाला नंतर सेवन्टीन नंबरचा आहे इथे क्विज ग्रीन कलरचा दिसतोय बघा तुमचा कोर्स कम्प्लीट झाला की इथे लॉक ओपन होतं आता माझं सर्टिफिकेट अनलॉक ट्वेंटी टू पर्सेंट माझे आता सहा लेक्चर मी फक्त बघितले बाकीचे बघितल्यानंतर क्विज येतात हे बघा इथं विचारतंय व्हॉट इज द मिनिमम अलेबल एरिया मीटर स्क्वेअर फॉर अ लिव्हिंग रूम किती असतंय हे कुठलं तरी आता समजा एटीन करेक्ट सेकंड हा नेक्स्ट असे दहा क्वेश्चन आहेत बघा फर्स्ट सेकंड थर्ड फोर्थ विच डायरेक्शन शूड बेडरूम विंडोज फेस नॉर्थ ईस्ट साऊथ वेस्ट कुठे असतंय साऊथ वेस्ट ईस्ट कुठे असतंय बेडरूम विंडोज फेस हे बघा ईस्ट असे सगळे क्वेश्चन हे तुम्ही पूर्ण व्हिडिओ मध्ये काय काय बघितला सगळ्यांना वेगवेगळे क्वेश्चन असणार आहे आणि इथे मेन सर्टिफिकेट येत आहे तुम्हाला इथे डाउनलोड सर्टिफिकेट दिसत आहे लेफ्ट साईड ला बघा त्याच्याच खाली हे कोर्स कम्प्लीट झालं तर सगळे खूप सारे छान छान आहेत म्हणजे व्हिडिओ आता एक आपण डेमो म्हणून बघूयात नंतर एक सगळ्यांनी एक एक सर्टिफिकेट आपण हे करूया आणि क्वेश्चन वेगवेगळे हे क्वेश्चन मध्ये तुम्ही आता समजा मी फास्ट जाईन कुठलं तर क्वेश्चन व्यवस्थित वाचायचं व्हॉट इज द अलेबल एरिया बिटवीन द फ्लोअर प्लॅन ड्रॉईंग ड्रॉईंग अँड रिअलिटी ओके काय असेल ते आता क्लिक रॉंग असेल तर रॉंग येस असेल तर हे पूर्ण असणार व्हॉट आर द टाईप डज द गॅरेज बिलॉंग टू रेसिडेन्शियल जनरल अँड डेव्हलपमेंट जनरल असेल ओके नेक्स्ट असे सगळे क्वेश्चन झाल्यावर तिथं सांगतात थर्टी पर्सेंट पास आहेत फिफ्टी हंड्रेड पर्सेंट समजा तुमचे पास झाला एक्झाम मध्ये तर तुम्हाला प्लॅनर फाईव्ह डी कडनं तुम्हाला एक कोर्स कम्प्लीट झालेलं सर्टिफिकेट मिळत आहे आणि सगळ्यांनी कम्पल्सरी दोन तीन सर्टिफिकेट तर घ्यायचं ह्याच्यावर ओके आता हे काय आपण एक एक बघूया आधी हे बघूया मेजर म्हणजे बेसिक नंतर आपण इंटेरियर डिझाईन बघूया व्हिडिओ फर्स्ट आहे इंट्रोडक्शन सगळ्यांनी व्यवस्थित बघा त्यावर आपण एमसीक्यूज वगैरे सोडूयात सगळ्याची स्टँडर्ड साईज काय असेल आणि कसं आपण ड्रॉ करतो प्लॅनर फाईव्ह रूम डी मध्ये ते सांगतायत ओके फर्स्ट स्टार्ट करूया आपण इंट्रोडक्शन वेलकम टू द सेकंड लेसन फंक्शनल स्पेस प्लॅनिंग ऑर झोनिंग इन दिस लेसन वील टॉक अबाउट वाय झोनिंग इज नेसेसरी द एलिमेंट ऑफ झोनिंग वॉट कॅन बी युज फॉर झोनिंग and why zoning is so important. When redesigning a floor plan or room, it is important to maximize the available space. Empty space should be utilized. You can use the Google Alert or the app. मला कोणी तर विचारलंय की ऍप चाललंय चालतो आणि पर्सनल इमेल आली नाही चालत कारण हे कॉलेजच्या इमेल आयडीना आपण लायसन विकत घेतलंय तुमचा जीमेल वर पर्सनल जो असेल ते नाही चालणार ओके इफेक्टिव्हली रेक्टँग्युलर अँड स्क्वेअर रूम्स आर द मोस्ट कन्व्हिनियंट फॉर डिझाईन पर्पसेस फर्निचर प्लेसमेंट इज इझिएस्ट अँड अदर जनरल प्रॉब्लेम्स कॅन बी अवॉइडेड Space planning is closely related to the client's activities and priorities. Before beginning a zoning project, it is important to understand the goals of the space, priorities, size, focus, features, etc. This is unique for every client. Some may or may not have children, so an additional bedroom may not be necessary. Some may desire a home office. Some prefer minimalist decor and will need extra storage space for their personal belongings. Measuring the space. It is important to correctly measure each room in the structure since the entire project depends on the dimensions displayed in the floor plan. The allowable error between the floor plan drawing and reality is 5 mm. The floor plan drawing can be prepared however the designer prefers. It is important that the designer can read and understand the plan for future reference. These are the tools for measuring. Tape measure, simple or laser, compass, camera or smartphone, paper, pens, pencils, or markers, hard surface for placing the sketching paper. Meanwhile, these are the steps for measuring. First, 
Start with measuring the entrance room and continue with following rooms. Second, measure the length, width, and height of each room. The ceiling height may differ from room to room. Also, measure any angled or slanted walls and niches. Third, measure the length, width, height, and depth of each window. Make sure to take the measurements of the window sills and note which direction the doors and windows open to. Fourth, use the compass to determine the direction of the window's face. Fifth, measure the doors with the same method as the windows were measured. Sixth, measure any remaining features, columns, heaters, stairs, plumbing. If there are no planned changes for the lighting, make sure to note all outlets and switch locations. Seventh, take photos of each room. The photographs will be a helpful tool to clear up any confusion in the floor plan drawing. Square meters. Many countries set standards for the minimum amount of space required per person to ensure comfortable living. It is common that apartments follow a set of minimum per person, while standalone houses follow a minimum determined by the size of the lot. This number varies according to the country standards. Some set the necessary square meters for one person to be about 13, others at 18, others at 25. Read about your country set standards. Here are the detailed ideal square meters. For the entry room, it starts at 4 square meters, comfortable amount of space for 2 people. Bathroom starts at 4 square meters, starting at 7 square meters if installing a shower, toilet, bath, sink, and washing machine. If installing a half bathroom, only a sink and toilet, it starts at 1.4 square meters. For the living room, it starts at 18 square meters. This would fit a couch, table, shelving, and TV with minimal access space between the furniture. Then for the kitchen, it starts at 8 square meters. Starting at 15 square meters would be more spacious, but if the floor plan is for a studio, the kitchen may have to be smaller. For the bedroom, it starts at 10 square meters. A 10 square meter bedroom would fit a double bed and small shelving. If wanting a vanity or desk, the minimum would be 14 square meters. These are the three types of measured areas. One, residential area, marked in orange. This includes the residential area. त्यामध्ये रेसिडेंशियल एरिया जनरल एरिया एंड डेव्हलपमेंट एरिया ओके लक्ष द्या हाच ह्याच्यावरच क्वीज आहे आपल्याला लिव्हिंग रूम किचन बेडरूम्स ऑफिसेस बाथरूम्स हॉलवेज क्लोजेट्स एटसेट्रा द रेसिडेंशियल एरिया डज नॉट इन्क्लूड पॅटियो ऑर बाल्कनी स्पेस द बेसमेंट ऑर गराज जनरल एरिया मार्क्ड इन ऑरेंज एंड येलो दिस इन्क्लूड्स द रेसिडेंशियल एरिया एंड अदर जनरल स्पेसेस residential space, plus the basement, garage, enclosed stairway, etc. The general area includes space that has flooring, walls, and a ceiling. Patios, open balconies, or pergolas are not included. 3. Developed area, marked in orange, yellow, and red. This includes all the structures on the plot. All the buildings, any additions, the patio, shed, entrance stairway, as well as balconies, pergolas, sometimes even the walkway is included. When we say main rooms, it includes entry room, living room, bedrooms, kitchen and dining room, bathroom. Other rooms are boiler room, garage, storage, office, library, others. Orientation. If possible, it is advised to design the home with windows facing in the directions listed in the figure. If not possible, it is advised that the most commonly used rooms face south. 
Wondering why? Northern facing rooms do not get direct sunlight and the rooms may be colder and seem less cozy. Eastern facing rooms will provide morning sunlight. Southern facing rooms will receive the most sunlight and are usually warm and cozy. Western facing rooms will receive sunset light. Another important orientation, boiler rooms, entry rooms, closets, hallways, and the laundry room can be located in any direction since they usually have few windows or none at all. A compass can be used to find your orientation. If you don't have a compass, then use the sun's location at certain times to find the direction. 7 a.m. East, 1 p.m. South, 5 p.m. West. If there is no option to consider orientation when designing the floor plan, by the end of the zoning lesson, you will know how to zone a home that does not have many windows, for example, in a home with a southern-facing kitchen and a northern-facing living room, zoning can be achieved with dividing walls, aquariums, furniture, and more. In the Colors and Materials lesson, you will learn how to use design elements to add warmth to a northern-facing room. In the Lighting lesson, you will learn how to design the lighting in a room without windows or natural light, for example, a living room or bedroom. Load-bearing and non-load-bearing walls. Before starting a zoning project in a home, it is important to load-bearing and non-load-bearing walls. Before starting a zoning project in a home, it is important to first identify the structural contribution of the wall. Before taking down walls, it is important to know whether they are structural walls, example load-bearing or non-load-bearing, or two, identify any required permits to remove walls. Non-load-bearing walls can be removed without a permit. Removing load-bearing walls requires a permit from the appropriate authorities. Why can't load-bearing walls be removed? Because removing a load-bearing wall would weaken the structural integrity of the building and can lead to building collapse. How to find out which walls are load-bearing and which are not? In the blueprints, Load-bearing walls are represented with a thick line, and non-load-bearing are represented with a thin line. If you are unable to read the blueprints or if you don't have access to them, you can measure the walls. Non-load-bearing walls are usually 8, 10, or 12 centimeters thick, and load-bearing walls are 14, 18, 20 centimeters or more. In the illustration on this slide, the black walls are load-bearing and the green are not. Load-bearing and non-load-bearing wall example number one. The load-bearing walls are black and non-load-bearing walls are green. In some buildings only, the exterior walls are load-bearing. Load-bearing and non-load-bearing wall example number two. The so load-bearing walls are black and non-load-bearing walls are green. The figure on the right shows the structural columns that cannot be removed and the balcony is considered a load-bearing wall. Example clients, repeated. The clients are a family of three, husband, wife, and their daughter. The family enjoys spending time outdoors, away from city life. The family enjoys spending time with each other, cooking and hosting guests. The structure they want, the design is for a one-story, 129.3 square meter house. The windows are on the south and eastern sides of the house. The current floor plan includes an entry room, open floor plan kitchen, dining and living rooms, two bedrooms, one bathroom, and a closet. Their requests, white as the dominant interior color, well-designed kitchen layout with a dining area, two bedrooms, two plumbing systems, at least one curved wall. Now let's look at the current floor plan of 129.3 square meters from the example client's requests. Based on the figure, there's no need for the storage room, 
The current floor plan does not utilize this space. Replace the bathtub with a shower. There needs to be more unique entry room. More space for preparing meals in the kitchen. Include a vanity and TV in the bedroom. At least one curved wall in the home. And there should be a better design for the living room, particularly for the TV and couch. Load-bearing walls are in purple and non-load-bearing walls are in green. So we have here the example client's three proposed zoning options. The one at the top is the current situation. The first option, second option, and the third option, which is what the client chose. To better look at the example client's chosen zoning option, let's look at its functional space planning. Collage. The client chose the option to collage. Collage. The client client chose. To better look at the example client's chosen zoning option, let's look at its functional space planning. Collage. The client chose the option to collage. See the red arrow. The clients decided that the collage in option 1 was too dark and lacked white elements and wood motifs. They are moving forward with a design in option 2. Let's review the collage that the client chose, which is option 2. It has enough wood motifs. The color is much lighter. The green accents can be found at the background, on the pillowcase, and the potted plants. There is an imitation fireplace, modern furniture, light wood flooring, and modern light fixtures. Your clients repeated. The clients are a family, a husband and wife with two children. The family enjoys traveling. They have a dog. The structure they are looking to build is a one-story home with 153.7 square meters, large windows facing every direction. Their requests, a light interior with some bright accents, design elements that portray their love for travel, spacious kitchen with an open floor plan to include the dining room and living room, three bedrooms, two plumbing systems, laundry room, at least one curved wall. एक्साम्पल दिल्ली हाउ टू ड्रॉ प्लैनर फायडे अपने फर्स्ट लेक्चर लो व्यवस्थित बन जे घर फर्निचर वगैरह ऐड करता है साउंड नहीं है
फर्निचर बगा आठ करता विंडो डोअर थिकनेस पेंज करू शता खाली बीड हाइट थिकनेस थोड़ा फर्निचर मध्य ऐड करता जास्त तो तुम्हें थोड़ा कमी जास्त करू शता हा बघा थ्री डी मध्ये तुम्हाला असं दिसतंय दोन तीन एक्झाम्पल आहेत बघा एकदा व्यवस्थित
Now let's move to the rooms. Every room in a home is important. We will be discussing each of them. Let's start with the entry room. The entry room is an important space in the home because it is the first area that both the residents and guests experience. The entry room is where guests make a first impression about the home. The entry room has to be not only visually appealing, but also practical. Entry room design often receives the least amount of attention. It can be too small, connected to other rooms, or used as a storage space and filled with unnecessary furniture. Although we don't spend much time in the entry room, it should not be forgotten as it makes the first impression about the home. Now let's learn the entry room functions. 1. Storage of clothing and shoes. 2. Isolates the home from noise, dirt, and cold. 3. Creates the first when arriving and last when leaving impression of the home. When designing the entry room, it is important to determine how many people can fit in this space at once. For example, if all family members are getting ready or if a group of guests arrives. This will help determine how much space is needed for an entry room with a walkway, area for removing jackets, coat hooks, and shoe storage. It is common for a stairway to open into the entry room. In this case, it is important to Calculate how much space remains in the entry room for hanging coats and storing shoes or other necessities. Determine how to utilize the space under the stairs. It can be shelving, a sofa or mirror storage or even a small bathroom. Ensure the stairs are safe. Provide sufficient lighting. It is required that there are separate lighting sources for the entry room and the stairway. Select a simple stairway and railing design if the entry room is a small space. This is the example client's new floor plan. The before and after images show that the entry room in the new floor plan is more spacious. There is more room for coats and shoes, and there is space for a small bench or stool for putting on shoes. It is recommended that the living room is near the home's entrance, since it is a room for the family to gather as well as a space to entertain. This is important so that 1. the guests have a comfortable and designated space, 2. the living room acts as an entrance point to the rest of the house, for example the bedrooms. The living room and kitchen are often called the heart of the home. The living room is often the largest room in the home. It can be a closed-off space or in the same room as the kitchen. The living room is usually not only for entertaining, but it is also a space for the residents to spend time together. It must be functional. The living room is a space where residents spend a lot of time, since it can also be connected to or share the function of a kitchen, library, office, or even a bedroom. It is important to find out what type of living room the clients are looking for, their lifestyle, whether it will serve a dual function, etc. It is important to consider how many people will be able to fit in the living room, family members and guests, and what the main activities will be. Is it exercising, reading, games, TV watching, etc. This will determine the size of the space. After considering what we have discussed, this is the example client's new floor plan. The before and after images show that the sizes of the living rooms are almost identical, but the new floor plan has more seating space. There would even be a sufficient walkway with the addition of two more sofas, whereas an additional sofa in the current floor plan would obstruct the entrance into the entry room or kitchen. The circular living room becomes an accent of the home and an access point to the other rooms. There are no doors between the kitchen and living room in order to let in natural light from the kitchen. This avoids a dark living room. Now let's talk about kitchen. The kitchen should be near the living room. 
One, this makes it easier to serve food in the living room rather than having to walk across the entire home. Two, if coming in with purchases or groceries, it is more convenient to enter the home through the entry room and directly access the kitchen or living room. A kitchen must have three main qualities, functionality, appearance, safety. These are the six common kitchen layouts. One wall, U-shaped, L-shaped, galley, G-shaped, kitchen with island. One, before designing a kitchen, it is important to know the layout desired by the clients. Two, things to consider, the number of occupants, the number of guests, how often the homeowners like to cook, the desired appliances. Three, these layouts will be discussed in more detail in Lesson 6, Furniture. This is my client's new floor plan. The before and after images show that the current kitchen is not spacious enough for the clients who enjoy entertaining. The new floor plan allows a more spacious kitchen with more storage space for kitchen items, pots and cookware, as well as a bar table in addition to the dining table. The kitchen will be divided from the living room using a decorative wall, which will allow natural light to enter the kitchen. Now let's move on to the It is advised that the bedrooms are located further away from the front door in the passive portion of the home. This will lead to better rest. If the home has multiple stories, it is advised that the bedrooms are in the upper floors to isolate from living room and kitchen noise. It is not recommended to design bedrooms in a way that require walking through one bedroom to access another bedroom. Instead, access into bedrooms should be from the living room or a hallway. The number of people sleeping in a room will determine its size. It is important to discuss this with clients. For example, if the bedroom will sleep only one parent or a couple or multiple siblings. Based on what we've discussed about bedrooms, this is my client's new floor plan. The before and after images show the bedroom location and the floor plan did not change. The daughter's room is slightly smaller, but plenty of room remains for the furniture. The master bedroom remained almost the same, but there is a small entry area into the bedroom. Quiz solve करूँ, आज एक drawing start करूँ अपन, दोन तासा चा वेनस दे ले 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 कर रहा हूँ, ठीक? Thank you. Roll number chat box में दे send करा.